back on Monkey Island. So as we started discovering last time, we've got this whole other half of the island to discover. We've got the giant monkey head down here. <laughs> oh, hello, monkeys. Oh. You guys are doing weird monkey things. All right. So we've got giant monkey heads. This was the entrance to the uh, underground caverns in Monkey Island 1. There was a bunch of statues out here. There's a lot more involved in getting in here. <laughs> Jojo Sr.? What the heck is that? Here lies Jojo Sr., loyal to the end. Oh, okay. Look I can't believe I'm nose. looking up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like they're... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit I, or the inventory button. Y? I've mapped it to Y on my controller. Let's... Oh, here we go. So over here is a blue stick sticking out here. That is most likely the broken Q-tip. seems to have failed due to a stress fracture and too much torsional pressure. Ouch. That sounds... Hasn't been cleaned in a while. There's some nasty wax buildup. <laughs> huh. Oh, jeez. There's also what appears to be a part of a broken Q-tip. So oh, in the first yeah. monkey island... There you go. You caught on there, Jet Guybrush. In the first monkey island, we had to get a Q-tip, which, well, it was the monkey head key... But it looked an awful lot like a Q-tip, <clears throat> and we stuck it in the monkey ear, and swiddled it around a bit, and that opened the monkey head to let us into the underworld. <laughs> so, lots of little references there. I can't imagine this thing smells good when it's open. <laughs> yeah, we can't believe I'm looking it. up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like there's some sort of latch in there. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. We have something that could get things that we can't reach. Use banana picker with monkey nose. Huh? So it's not the ear this time. A monkey. This banana picker is really starting to come in handy. All right. So let's. Uh... Oh. Okay. That's weird. So. Can I take the banana picker? Oh. Okay. So that closes. So I think I'm done with the banana picker for now. So let's use it with the nose again and open this bad boy up. And then I guess I have to leave it there. All right, let's go inside hey, here. There's a hidden passage back here. Of course there is. Should go to underground. Hey, this place oh, looks dear, like some sort of different. control room. <laughs> okay. Can't imagine that this actually I'm not picking that steer. Can't imagine that this actually steers anything. Banana chair, levers, levers, they look like levers. controls of some sort. All right, armrest control panel. This must be the captain's chair. I'm not picking that up. Starfish date one eight two point four three. The gamma quadrant has no monkeys. <laughs> wow. What a reference. All right, so we got to come back here later. Oh, what's this boiler? That looks important. I can hear some bubble. I'm not picking that. I can't use this. Um. Can't use any of this with it. I so let's go back out of here. Gas. No, get down the ladder. Go down the ladder. There we go. All right. So clearly, we have stumbled upon some great ritual ground for the monkeys, including a spaceship-looking thing underground. Oh, totem pole. Frightening. A monkey head on a stick. All right. All right, so the other, th other thing on the half of the island we're on here is the cannibal village. So I'm pretty sure the cannibals have moved, because last time I saw them, they were on... Oh, what was the name of the island? There was the island that you would go to after you... What? It's an island you go to in the third one. Welcome to the cannibals have moved town. to. Now it seems I it's been overrun Jojo by monkeys. Junior, monkey prince. I suppose it's hey, Jojo hey, Senior. Hey, hey, you can talk! As can you. Imagine that. Um, so he's got a nice hat there. I still can't believe you're a talking oh, monkey. Yes. That is why you fail. The question is not why a talking monkey, but rather, why not a talking monkey? Uh, right. Um. What I really want to talk about is... Yes? Um. Yeah, there are button and levers and stuff there in the giant monkey head. There are levers and stuff in the giant monkey head. Very interesting. You don't you don't care? Okay. Um oh, let's look at his hat, because he does have a bronze hey, looking hat. hat. Thank you. 
It is a hat of honor. It's a lot like the hat we had on. Well, not Natal. Um, can I have it? Yeah, let me have it. Can I'm I have pirate. it? Oh, that is a question only the stars in the heavens themselves can answer. Okay. Um, okay, but can I have your hat? <laughs> no. Oh, well then. Fine, what, what do you mean, mean it's a hat, hat of, of honor? honor? To earn the right to wear this hat, one must become the best at an ancient and noble sport. A contest with great and long-standing tradition among the monkey folk. The sport of monkey combat! What? What exactly is monkey combat? It was once used to train young monkey warriors in the way of combat. In these modern times, it has become a game, albeit a game of supreme honor. Very little has changed over the years. Much of the ceremony has been dropped, but the flinging of insults and witty <laughs> monkey repartee has yes, remained. Yes, insults. All right, so is it bronze? <laughs> oh, well, how does it work? How does monkey well, how combat does it work? work? Pay attention. I okay. don't want to have to say this again. There are five battle stances in monkey combat. The bobbing baboon. Mm -hmm. The gimpy gibbon. Yep. The charging chimp. I'm writing on this down. And the drunken monkey. Each of these stances is dominant over two other stances. For example, the gimpy gibbon gimpy always gibbon? defeats the drunken monkey. All right, so, so all I have to given... do is learn which stances beat the others, right? Yes, but there's more to it than that. I was afraid you'd say that. In order to move from one battle stance to another, you must invoke certain secret monkey insults. These insults are built from combinations of the four most ancient words in the monkey language. Eek, ak, oop, and chi. For example, if I wanted to move from the drunken monkey stance to the anxious ape, I would use the following insult. I can also use the same insult to move from the anxious ape stance back to the drunken monkey. Any questions? Um, show me the drunken monkey to anxious ape move again. Could you show me that drunken monkey to anxious ape move again? Certainly. Okay. <clears throat> Don't forget that the same insult works for the return move as well. All right, so basically, if you've ever watched Big Bang Theory, it's like rock, scissors, paper, lizard, Spock. But it's, so it's got charging chimp, drunken monkey, bobbing baboon, gimping gibbon, and anxious ape. And those are the five different stances, and each of them have a combination to go from one to the other. And each of them beats another one. So what we know right now is Gimpy Gibbon beats the Drunken Monkey. And to go from Drunken Monkey to Anxious Ape and vice versa is Ak, Chi, Oop. And there's three, four different uh, noises you make, which is Eek, Ak, Oop, and Chi. So what I have to do is um, go around the island and... <laughs> it's going to sound weird. Fight then different we monkeys. And learn all the moves. So... In the first game, you had to go around and do insult sword fighting to learn all the insults and the responses. Same thing with the third game. You had to sail around getting all the insults and responses. So with this one, the monkey combat has kind of taken place of the sword uh, the uh, insult sword fighting. So I, I can really go for right now. But I basically what I'd be able to do eventually, journey. thank you, uh, is to go and defeat Jojo Jr. to get his hat. Because I need that for part of the ultimate insult now the monkey head if you may recall we just saw a giant monkey head so perhaps we can use that uh the golden man we're getting to we'll figure that out when we get to it uh, i have a feeling though that the banana picker uh which looks similar to a man will suit as that so what is this here he has an accordion if we correctly uh it recall. says ht on it that is Herman Toothrot's accordion, which he got whacked on the head with. So that is the next piece to his um, his memory recovery. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. It says HT it on it. Ahoy there, matey. No? Okay. I don't think he'd like that. All right. Well, we'll have to come back there, to matey. that. So right now, he's too entranced by the accordion music to pay us any mind. So we're going to go to the island. And we are going to uh, see some of these monkeys that are wandering around here and challenge them to the ancient and noble art of monkey combat. 
<sighs> Talk to the timid monkey. Eek, eek, eek. Hi, Lo. So, I see you are <laughs> trained in the arts of monkey combat. Monkey combat! Okay. So Let's he goes. <laughs> yes, yes. He's in Drunken Monkey. Akchi E. Goes to Bali and Baboon. So, Akchi E. Goes to Bali and Baboon. And Bali and Baboon, I didn't catch that. Did it beat Drunken Monkey? Yes. So, Bobby and Baboon drink beats Drunken Monkey. But we know that Gimpy and Gibbon beats Drunken Monkey. We don't know how to get there. So, the only thing we know right now is Akchi E, which is what he did. So, that's. Ak! Oopchi! Oh! That's not Sorry, what I, I wanted you. to do. Okay. This may require some editing, because I'm going to have to run around here and defeat all the monkeys in monkey combat. Talk to Smelly Monkey. Okay, so, so yes. I see you are trained in the arts of monkey combat. It's gonna take a lot of getting beat before it happens. Let's see what you got. Okay. <laughs> Go so fast. Gimpy Gibbon. Ak Oop Chi. Chi to go to Babbing Baboon. And he defeated Gimpy Gibbon with that. I'm in Gimpy Gibbon. And Ak Oop Chi. Ak! Oop Oop! Ow! Ugh, that's, ugh, this thing's so sensitive. Chi 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 from Bobby and Baboon. Ow! Oh, it just stays the same if you say the same three things twice. Three times. Gimpy Gibbon. Let's try this again. Ak Oop Chi. Ak Oop Chi! Should go to Bobby and Baboon and Tai. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, what's he gonna do? Bobby and Baboon to Ak Oop Chi to Gimpy Gibbon. Ak Oop Chi, which is what I just did. Okay, so that beats Gimpy Gibbon. I'm writing all this down because I'm a goober. Um, now Gimpy and Gibbon beats Drunken Monkey, but that doesn't really matter because he's Bobby and Baboon. But Drunken Monkey, oh, I still don't have that. Ak Oop Chi. I'll just go back to Bob and Baboon and Ty. Let's see if he gives me another one. <laughs> yes, you're frustrated, buddy. I know. Bob and Baboon to Anxious Ape. Eek, eek, eek. Eek, eek, eek? From Anxious Ape? I don't think that's right, but I'll... So I'm in Gimpy Gibbon. He's in Gimpy Gibbon. Which means he'll beat me if I switch to Boy and Baboon. Oop, oop, oop. Let's just stay in the same one. Okay. Gippy Gibbon to <coughs> Charging Chimp. Eek Chi Oop to Charging Chimp. <coughs> Charging Chimp. It was oh I don't eek. oh I don't remember what that was. This is going to take a while, folks. Um, he's Drunken Monkey right now, which can be beat by Bobby and Baboon, which I know to get to Ak Oop Chi. Ak Oop Eek! Ow. No, that. Mm. Drunken Monkey to. Bobby and Baboon is Ak Chi Eek. Which I know. Okay. Oh, but I beat him somehow. Charging Chimp beats Bobby and Baboon. Apparently. Is that what it just did? Eek! 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is better than Bobby Baboon. Akchi Eep. It's a <clears throat> drunken monkey, which we know. I lose. So sad. So I think... That was rude, Guybrush. I don't think so, I have the hang of this yet. What I'm probably going to do is take a little bit of time off camera and figure out all these uh, monkey moves and then come back and show you how it's all beat. Uh, and if I can, I'm going to make an image to put at the end to show all the moves and their correlating uh, this monkey sounds, primal monkey language. So we're going to have to come back and do this because this is going to take forever. 
Um, what I might do is make a bonus video between, uh, that'll be a really short one that's just gonna be me fast running through all of this. You won't even have to listen to me yap. It's just gonna be me writing down stuff. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, I think I'm gonna come back and do the rest later. I know this is a short video, but, uh, I think I'm gonna put a little bonus video at the end that's gonna have all my wanderings around beating up on poor defenseless monkeys, because Guybrush is a monster. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.